There we go, full time and uh, pre-season is over and Arsenal have finished it with a treble in the bag, the Asia Trophy, uh, joined by the Emirates Cup and the Community Shield. And of course we've beaten Chelsea in the process, which is great. Uh, it's fun, to be honest. <laughs> we don't do it very often. Um, I'm not sure that I regard this as a competitive fixture. I'm not sure that this means that Arsene Wenger has now beaten Jose Mourinho. I'm not sure that come the end of the season... I'll count Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's excellent goal today in his tally for the entire campaign. But that doesn't mean there aren't big positives to be drawn. I thought we saw in the way Arsenal held on at the end that there's a real resilience in the team, that the, the calm and experience that Petr Cech and Per Mertesacker bring to the defence now. The understanding that seems to be developing between uh, the defensive unit. And I just thought going forward, some really encouraging signs not just in the football that we played, but also in the, just the sheer number of options at Arsene Wenger's disposal. It was fascinating to see Aaron Ramsey picked in central midfield today alongside Francis Coquelin, with Santi Cazorla playing predominantly from the left-hand side. Uh, that came as something of a surprise. Theo Walcott as well picked ahead of Olivier Giroud at, at centre-forward. I think it's tempting to say, well, that's Arsene Wenger's plan for the start of the season. This is his team. But... I think instead what we have to consider is that he picked a team for the occasion, picked a team for the day. And he felt that Ramsey's physicality might be required against the likes of Matic. And he felt that Walcott's pace was more likely to be effective than Olivier Giroud against John Terry and Gary Cahill. And I think that's how it's going to be this year. I think there probably will be a best eleven that we'll see in certain home games. But for the most part, Arsene Wenger's got great flexibility with the squad that he's got on his hands and he'll look to use that. He'll look to pick the players who can exploit the weaknesses of the opposition on any given day. Um, I thought that the goal that we scored was terrific. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain scored just once last year, I think in 23 Premier League appearances. That's not good enough for a player of his quality. Um, he needs to improve on that. Uh, that stat may be wrong. Forgive me if it is. And... Uh, Either way, his own product needs to get better. I thought Francis Coquelin was very, very good today. At times, the system was more like the 4-1-4-1 we began last season with than the 4-2-3-1 we finished with, partly because Ramsey was rushing up to join as uh, they were almost playing level. And You know, there were times when we used that formation last year, it looked like something of a disaster, but I guess Coquelin's the difference, more so than Arteta. He's capable of covering ground and coping as the kind of sole anchoring player there. I do like Cazorla in the middle, though, so that is a conundrum that will be fascinating to see how that plays out in the coming weeks. But the good news is uh, we go into the season with some real momentum. We've overcome a hurdle of sorts by beating Chelsea. Now we're in a better position to do what counts, and that's beating them, A, in a competitive fixture, and B, in the Premier League standings. To be frank, if we don't beat Chelsea again, but win the Premier League title next year, um, I don't think you'll find anyone complaining. But... A good day, uh, a good performance, and onwards and upwards. West Ham coming up seven days away. Can't wait.